Hey there, welcome back to Intruder Security. Here's the another video of ethical hacking series. In this video, we will be seeing network scanning using Nmap. Nmap is a network scanner used for discovering active hosts. It helps you to see if the IP is up and hosting some service on some port or not. Nmap not only helps you to discover IP and port, it also helps you to detect OS and even the version of the service. Due to its features and capabilities, it is also known as Swiss Army Knife of Hackers. I recommend you to check out previous videos of our ethical hacking series as the video contains some prerequisite topics explained there. So let's get started without wasting time. We will be using Nmap form terminal, so I have my terminal already running. I will be testing my own IP. So to see my IP, let's use ifconfig command to see my local IP. Here is my IP address. I will copy the IP address for further use, and I will be pasting the same IP address wherever necessary. For better understanding of Nmap, I have hosted two HTTP server on my IP address. One on port 3000, and another on 5000. So let's get back to our first tab. To now get the help menu of Nmap, we can use Nmap with a dash H switch. Nmap gives multiple features from different types of target specifications, host discovery, scanning techniques, and port specification. Nmap not only gives options on target specification, it also helps in service, version detection, OS detection, vulnerable service detection, and more. Let's see the version of the Nmap installed. To do so, we have the following nmap command. nmap with a capital V switch. You can see that the version of nmap installed is 7.93. The version installed may not be latest at the time you are seeing. No, let's see the most basic scan having a single IP address. The basic scan helps involves detection of common 1000 ports of the IP address you provide. Let's scan my IP address, nmap, and then the IP address. You can see that it has detected two open ports, port 3000 and port 5000. These two ports are the HTTP servers I have hosted from here. And REST 998 ports are closed. It has also detected the usual service which run on these ports. What if you want to scan two or more IPs? To do so, you can separate all IP with a space. Let's scan two IP with this syntax. So you can see it has scanned two IP addresses and resulted two ports of my IP are open. As there are no ports open on second IP address, it is not showing any of the ports. What if you want to scan a specific range of IP addresses? You can do that by specifying the dash between the range. Let's scan IP addresses on my network. Here how you can specify the range. So you can see it has scanned 11 IP addresses and found a single IP address which has two open ports. And that's my IP address. Now let's see how to scan in subnet. You can specify the subnet using a slash. Let's scan subnet. You can see it has scanned do 56 IP addresses and there are two IP addresses one of which has open port and another one is mine having two open ports. Now let's see the inaggressive scan made by Nmap. It allows you to get service, version detection of service which are running on open port, OS detection of the IP address, and much more. To do so, you can see we have to use dash capital A switch. Let's try it. So you can see how powerful the Nmap is. It has detected my OS, including the service which I am running on my open ports. You can see I am trying to run an HTTP service which is running on Node.js framework called Express. It has even tried to get the title of the service that is in React app running on port 3000. You can even confirm the results from here. I have started both of my ports using NPM. Let's try to go to browser and verify if the port is active or not. So you can see in lagging portal on this IP address. Now let's get back to the help section and try new commands. We have seen that the previous command was an aggressive scan. This means that in firewall can detect that you are trying to scan the IP address and block your request. 
to avoid that end map is also given in stealth scan. If you have seen my previous videos, I have explained how DCP handshake works. To avoid the detection of scanning and map performs in partial handshake, it sends in SYN packet indication that the end map wants to connect to server. Then server will respond with an packet indicating that the server is active. Now as per DCP handshake and map should send another packet to confirm that the packet has been received. But to avoid the detection it does not send back any packets and hence breaks the handshake. Oh I missed how to scan a specific port. To do so we have a dash P switch and then the port number you want to scan. Let us scan the port 5000 which is open on my machine. So here it is the state of port is open. Let's try checking port 3001. Here we go, the state of the port is closed. I have a service running on port 3000. Let's check that out. And the state of the port is open. Now let's get back to our stealth scan, which has in switch smallest and in capital S. Let's perform a SYN scan on my IP address. Okay, so it's saying that to perform a stealth scan, you need to use the command as a root user. So let's perform the command as root user. Here we go, we have scanned an IP address with two open ports. Let's get back to the help menu. You can similarly use another scanning techniques like UDP scanning, FTP bound scan and more. Now let's see the service and version detection techniques. The following switch is used for service and version detection. And map with dash smallest and a capital V switch and then the IP address. We have the service, which is Node Express Server running No My Machine. Let's try to combine Stealth Scan with Version Detection with both switch. Oh, we again missed root privileges. Here we go, we have again scanned my IP address, but with Stealth Scan and Version Detection. Now let's add OS Detection in it. If we get back to Help menu, We have dash o switch. Let's add the switch to our previous command. So nmap has successfully detected my OS that is Linux. It has also detected the kernel version. Now let us see how we can save the results inside file. Inside the help menu it displays the ways how we can save the results. We can save the results in multiple ways like a normal text file, XML file, and much more ways. We can use the displayed switch cases for desired file. Let's try to save the file in an XML file. To do so, we need to use small o with capital X switch with the file name. Let's add this to our previous command with result file name as result.xml. So the scanning is completed successfully. On listing the file, you can see that we have successfully created an XML file having the result. Let's open the file. The file contains the result we got in an XML format. Let me remove this file. So in this video, we have seen nmap, how a beginner can use nmap for network scanning purpose. We have seen how to specify our target, different kind of host discovery, scanning techniques, and target enumeration. I hope you have understood the video, if so, please do like and share and subscribe the channel. If you have any doubt related to this video, you can ask in the comments section or you can even go to the documentation on Nmap official website.